Thomas the Tank Engine was having a splendid day. He was making good time with Annie and Clarabelle and was early at each station. Just like clockwork, Thomas's driver would say. This made Thomas feel very pleased with himself, but he knew that he would not run nearly so well if not for his driver, who Thomas had worked with for years and loved very much. After the day's work was over, Thomas and his driver liked to stop near an old oak tree near the windmill. It was a peaceful spot. Each night, as his driver sat on the fence looking out over the pasture, Thomas could see that his driver was getting old. He wasn't as young or spry as he used to be many years ago. Soon, he would have to retire, which made Thomas feel very sad. Don't worry, Thomas, his driver said. We will always be good friends, no matter what happens. The next morning, Thomas was astonished to find a new driver greeting him in the sheds. I beg your pardon, Thomas said, but where is my driver? I am your driver today, Thomas. We've got an early train. Be quick now. Thomas's journey didn't go nearly as smoothly as it had yesterday. The new driver didn't have the same finesse with the regulator as Thomas's driver had. But Thomas was far less worried about the ease of the journey. He was concerned for his driver. Has he retired after all without saying goodbye? Thomas thought to himself sadly. The following morning, and the morning after that, Thomas still didn't see his driver, and he was so busy that he didn't get a chance to find out what had happened. He was beginning to become very frustrated. Finally, one afternoon, the new driver tried to move Thomas across the yard to begin shunting, but Thomas wouldn't budge. Shower wheel, Thomas! The Fat Controller is counting on us! I'm not moving from this spot until you tell me where my driver is. The new driver looked down at his feet. The fireman looked nervous too. Are you certain you wish to know? Yes, please tell me. Your, your driver is very sick, Thomas. Very sick indeed. Sick? asked Thomas. Like Bill and Ben's coughs and sneezles? No, Thomas, it's... Worse. Much worse. The new driver explained everything. Thomas couldn't believe what he was hearing. One word stood out apart from the rest. Terminal. Later that evening, Thomas returned to his sheds feeling depressed. His driver was gravely ill and there was no way to help. The other engines didn't know what to say or how to make Thomas feel better. The rest of the week, Thomas was too distracted to attend to his work. He shunted the wrong trucks and stopped beyond the platform. Then, while at the big station, Thomas's new driver was called into the Fat Controller's office. He and the Fat Controller walked back out and approached Thomas slowly. Um, the Fat Controller started. I don't know how to tell you this, Thomas, but it is best that you know. He and the new driver traded nervous glances. We received a message that your driver passed away around 7 o'clock this morning. Thomas's heart sank. The sun was beating down, but Thomas felt ice cold. Then, he remembered what his driver had said about being friends no matter what, and amidst his tears, had a thought. Sir, Thomas said meekly. I want to honour my driver in some way, but I don't know what that might be. The Fat Controller smiled. He thought you might ask that. What do you mean? Your driver had a very specific list of requests for his funeral. He wanted you to pull a special train to carry him to his final resting place. And where might that be? A place you know very well. The old oak tree, Thomas said, smiling. It was only fitting for Thomas's special coaches Annie and Clarabelle to be used for the special train. Together, Thomas, his coaches, his driver and family made their way to the old oak tree, where Thomas was able to say goodbye. I will miss you, Thomas sighed. 
And though he felt sad, he also felt happy, because he knew that even though his driver was no longer here, whenever Thomas visited the old oak tree, his friend would still be there to share it with him.